London Airport, Mrs. Morrison, wife of the Speaker of the House of Commons, christens the first of three United States Super Saber jets named after the three tiny ships that carried the first permanent British settlers to America 350 years ago. And Mrs. Whitney, wife of the United States Ambassador, named the second. Lady Churchill also shared this anniversary celebration of that first Anglo-American Union and bestowed the apt title, Discovery. Gifts of British coins and historic documents were handed to the flight commander. And the journey to Virginia that took those settlers five months, the planes covered non-stop in eight hours. Another mission of friendship in the Pacific recalls another anniversary as the United States carrier Bennington sailed through the peaceful Coral Sea. On board were many veterans of the Battle of the Coral Sea, and now bound for Australia. Arriving in Sydney Harbour, Admiral Stump, CNC, United States Pacific Fleet, comes ashore for the 15th anniversary celebrations of the battle. His last visit was in 1942. This is my second visit to Sydney. I came here first in March 1942, and I can assure you this is a much happier occasion than that was. These graphic wartime pictures recapture the grim uncertainty of those days when the Japanese invasion fleet menaced northern Australia. American carrier-based planes scored great successes, but pilots of damaged aircraft had narrow escapes on returning to base. The battle, described as the greatest naval operation since Scotland, found the combined Allied forces battling desperately against Japanese suicide pilots who aimed their damaged planes at their ships. Finally, the Japanese fleet was shattered and Australia was spared the horrors of invasion. Now, 15 years later, the visiting American sailors strike up new friendships at Taronga Park Zoo as Australia remembers. <laughs>